What's up guys, Slaughter Fits back here with another video, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at three unique weapons that were added in with the Creation Club content and the Anniversary Edition, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first weapon we're going to be taking a look at is Dawn Fang or Dusk Fang. So this is a sword that changes depending on the time of day. At night it is a Dusk Fang I believe and it does frost damage and at during day it's Dawn Fang and does fire damage. And uh, it also has this ability where after killing 12 creatures absorbs 5 points of magicka or health or magicka. And it has a base damage of 42 which is pretty good for a one handed weapon. And yeah, it's pretty cool looking, um, kind of has this like almost like double blade thing, which is cool. And yeah, let's go test it out. Alright guys, we're back at line. it. We'll go first person so y'all can see the weapon better. Aren't you worried someone will wander in? What was that? Some Over here! Ah. Oh. Is someone there? Someone there? Thought I heard something. <laughs> Boom. Now ain't this a surprise? <laughs> Yeah, this is a super cool looking sword, if I'm being honest, guys. There's another one that uses kind of its same skin, but it's red. And I think it's called, um... Something to do with, like, blood, I don't know. Alright, so the next weapon we're taking a look at is a Warhammer called Nerve Shatter. And it is pretty unique looking, pretty cool looking. And its effect is that the target takes 30 points of shock damage and half as much of magicka damage. So not an insane effect, but you know, still pretty good. And then uh, it has a damage of 87, uh, which is also pretty good. And you know, just a really cool looking one, just like the last one. That's why I picked these. Just really unique things. I got, you know, almost like can't believe they're in Skyrim. They're so unique looking. And so, uh, yeah, let's go to testing it. Alright guys, I just went into a random cave to test out uh, this weapon. Not quite sure what we'll find in here. I don't remember this cave. Well, there's some skeevers. Okay, well... <laughs> You know, obviously it kills skeevers. Come on. Oh shit. Fuck you bitches. So yeah, it's a chunky weapon. It can definitely one shot or two shot a lot of people. Any more? Okay. Keep going. Just put a fucking poison on this bitch. Oh shit. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Hey, grab that bitch. Oh fuck. I fumbled the bag. Alright, let's try this again. Oh my god, bro. How the fuck? Are you <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh shit. What's up, y'all? Fuck. Boom. Got his ass. Oh shit, that actually fucking scared me this time. Oh yeah, so you can see it's fucking dumping into this guy. Oh yeah. 
I don't even have like any armor and I still survive because I took him out like super easy. So yeah, this thing looks dope. It does a ton of damage. I'm not gonna go through this whole cave, but uh, yeah, you got y'all get the picture. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next weapon. All right, guys. So the third and final weapon we're gonna be taking a look at in this video is called Ruins Edge, and I think, if I'm being honest, this is probably the coolest looking weapon to me in uh, Skyrim now. And you might be saying like, well, I mean, that's cool, but like, you know, it's kind of just like a purple and orange bow. Like, what's that crazy about it? What's really cool about it to me is it is some sort of living creature with this eyeball on it that actually like moves and looks around and blinks, as you just saw there. And it will like look around and like, you know, look at shit, I guess, behind you while you're in combat. And it's just like pretty fucking crazy to me. And it, you know, has this kind of permanent animation going. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just think that's really cool, and it's just kind of like this living bow, I don't know what the deal with this is, if anyone knows, like, a lore explanation for this, uh, I'd be interested to know, but, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and test this out on this, uh, farmer dude right here, oh, one shot. Oh yeah, so let's ch let's look. Um, damage of 36, base damage, no upgrades. Um, so you know that's all right. Um, you know, with no upgrades and uh, with no like enchantments or anything. And the effect is that it randomly applies one of these effects: frost, demoralize, frenzy, drain magicka, or paralyze. So it's almost kind of like a wabba jack or something. It's kind of just like could do a lot of different things. Oh, so I think that was like demoralized or something. Hey, come back, bro. Oh, shit. I didn't see you yet, homie. Oh. I'm fucking this boy up. What's up? Oh. So it's a little annoying because I guess they'll like run away and shit. I don't really like, uh, you know, the ones that make him run away. God damn it. So yeah, they're just like, I guess that's a little annoying about this bow is it does that fucking, I mean, I find the stuff that makes them run away super annoying, but I guess some people use those enchantments. Oh fuck. Oh god him. Oh, I need to do some fucking health. <laughs> So yeah, and the bow is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm lucky fucking these guards up and I don't have any armor. Come back here, bro. Oh, got him. So yeah, I think y'all kind of get the vibe. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go ahead and wrap this video up here. So comment down below uh, what's your favorite uh, weapon out of these three. Any video ideas you have in the future, build ideas. And uh, yeah, alright, I'll see you guys in the next one.